The most important thing is to position the mounting plate correctly with the earth screws at the lowest point. The power supply cable comes through the large centre hole in the middle of the plate. Secure the mounting plate to the ceiling robustly using the screws supplied with the fan. Remove two mounting screws 180 degrees apart on the outside edge of the mounting plate. The remaining two screws need only to be loosened as they will assist with the assembly. The original hanging ball assembly on the supplied fan needs to be substituted with the new hanging mechanism. This should be done at floor level before lifting the fan into position. A new down rod should be fitted with sufficient length as to give a good clearance between fan blade tip and the ceiling. Carefully lift the assembled fan and temporarily hang the canopy onto the mounting plate hook using one of two mating holes. This will facilitate the completion of wiring as per the ceiling fan owner's manual without you having to bear the weight of the fan during this process. Many fans have ceiling brackets that have terminal blocks attached. These terminal blocks sometimes are pre-wired with plugs for connecting receivers etc. These terminal blocks should be removed intact and left to float within the void of the canopy. There is sufficient space within this void to accommodate a remote receiver, terminal blocks and wires and you can conduct with a quick startup before locking up the canopy in the next step. Carefully lift the fan from the hook and rotate it to line up the mounting slots that put the canopy with the tab and the keyway in the ball at the lowest part of the ceiling. This is most important so that any movement in the fan is reflected in the correct movement between the tab and the keyway. The fan should now be in position to finish off the secure fastening of the canopy to the locking plate via the two screws into the mating holes. The fan should now hang vertically with plenty of blade clearance with the ceiling.